Okay, so my life is a little bit crazy right now. You can hear kids running around in the background. This is why we don't hold office hours, but... Mommy! Hold on, sorry, I'll be right with you. I got this first. So, hopefully you got here. It looks like you got, um, you took negative 2.18 times 10 to the negative 18, one over four squared minus one over one squared, and you get that the, the change in energy of the atom is equal to negative 2.04375 times 10 to the negative 18. Now, this is an equation that would be used for, um, um, Emission. This is currently talking about absorption. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the absolute value of that. So 2.04375 times 10 to the negative 18 equals H C over lambda. So hopefully you have 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 times 3 times 10 to the 8. And then we put that all over lambda. Now we got to get lambda on one side, which I think you did. So we got lambda times 2.04375 times 10 to the negative 18. Where I'm guessing we got slightly off is the fact that. Um, is this place right here. I'm guessing maybe you just used 2.04 and then use this extra 375 and that, that ends up making a difference when you're looking at significant figures. So we have lambda times that is equal to 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 times 3 times 10 to the 8. And then I'm just going to divide each side by 2.04375 times 10 to the negative 18. Point oh four three seven five times 10 to the negative 18. When you do this, you get an answer of lambda equaling, I think I got the same answer again, lambda equals 9.726 times 10 to the negative uh, 8 meters, which would be 97.2 nanometers. All right, hopefully this helped. Have a good one.